today is the day you will be canceling your ChatGPT subscription because Google Gemini Advanced is now available in all Google workspaces. For those who don't know, Google Gemini is Google's version of ChatGPT. <laughs> Basically, previously it was called Bard. They recently went through a branding and it's currently called Gemini. The same day it came out, I signed up for Gemini Advanced because I was really excited about the integration with slides, docs, sheets, drive. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the integration and how streamless it has made my life when it comes to doing any work in the Google workspace. Gemini is powerful and can do many tasks such as understanding text, understanding images, generating creative content, Content, such as like pictures in Google Slides, brainstorming ideas, writing reports, analyzing data and providing insights, boosting productivity, even coding and much more. This is the only video you need to watch to get a lowdown of how Google Gemini Advanced works inside Google Drive, Google Sheet, Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Gmail. So let's get right into it. Of all the integrations, I have to say that Google Drive integration is my favorite because I have gazillions of file and at least two terabytes of data in there. I can use all the help when looking for different files. And here is an amazing use case that I actually ended up trying. All right, let's go to Gemini Advanced and start a new chat. It currently has access to my drive. So let's say I need to reach out to a recruiter and I need to give them a summary, a TLDR of my resume. The coolest thing I can do here, I can just write Gemini to write a summary for me and it's gonna go look for my resume in Drive and give me a summary. Let me show you. This is the resume I actually used to apply to Google and got me in. So I'm really excited to see what this is going to do. So now it's currently looking for my resume in the drive and it's going to write a really nice summary for me. Amazing. It found my resume and it is able to generate a really nice summary. So this is pretty good. But one thing I realized that it is missing is numbers. I love showing my impact, my work through numbers. So I'm going to ask it. Okay. So now it's getting back to work and helping me find numbers. Let's see what it does. Well, it is obviously more than 200 words. Can you make it less? Then 100 words. Let's see what it does. Okay, I like this way more. It's basically giving a high level summary that data scientists with 10 years of experience at Amazon have worked on experimentation, resulting in revenue, generating over $14 billion <laughs> USD <laughs> opportunity portfolio. Amazing. This was actually my pro bono internship that I did when I was struggling to land interviews or find a job. Amazing. So I can technically take this summary, I can put it on my LinkedIn intro, I can uh, put it in an upcoming talk that I'm giving and put it as my bio. I can also copy paste this, maybe make it a little bit different and send an email to recruiter. I can do so much with it. And honestly, like I love this integration. It also was able to find the file that it used and I can actually click on it and it will take me to that file. Hands down, my favorite integration is Google Drive because as I said, my Google Drive is a mess. The next thing we're going to try is try it in Gmail. So I recently gave a talk at University of Washington where we talked about data science interview prep and some best practices, some do's and don'ts. So I have a very long email thread with the person who helped me organize. So I just finished the talk two days ago. So I'm going to write a follow up response to her and I'm going to use Google Gemini in Google Gmail to help me do that. So let's do it. So this is the email thread. Now I'm going to write a response. What I need from her is the content was recorded, that my talk was recorded. So I would like to thank her for inviting me and how much I appreciated talking to the students. And I'm going to ask her to send me the recordings so I can like watch it and share it on social if I want to. And let me know if you want the recording because I am still debating if I want to do it or not. If you are having a trouble finding where the Gemini lives, it's actually this thing here. So if you have Google Gemini Advanced, you will see this here and here, I'm going to say, help me write a response. And basically what I need to say is that respond to Lindsay, thanking her for inviting me to speak, how much I enjoyed talking to students. And next steps is to get the recording of my talk. So this is all I'm going to give. And I'm going to say, create a response. So it basically helped me create a response. It says, hi, Lindsay. Thank you for the opportunity to speak at the event. I really enjoyed talking to the students and sharing my experience with them. I was particularly impressed by their thoughtful questions and their enthusiasm for learning. I love 
it. This is great. <laughs> this is exactly what I would write. I would love to get copy of recording of my talk. Please let me know when it's available. Text again for everything. Okay, honestly, I love it. I can literally accept this or I can actually ask it to refine it further. I can change the tone. With ChatGPT, I don't get that option. With Gemini, I do get the option to change my tone to more formal or more casual. So now it's using more of a formal tone. And let's say if I want to shorten it a little bit further, I can ask it to shorten it. Now it's even shorter. I can also ask it to go back to the original, elaborate a little bit, make it longer. And let's say I want to insert it and ta-da. Now I can just hit send. Do you see like how amazing and cool it is? I'm still trying to figure out a way if it can read the entire thread and like help me create responses even faster. I haven't played around with it yet, but if you have, let me know in comments, what are the tricks to have it read the entire thread? Because this thread is literally like two gazillion emails, like 21 back and forth emails that I have with Lindsay. Okay, now let's go to Google Slides. Google Slides is an amazing integration. The reason I love it is because when I'm creating slides, whether that is for a work presentation or whether that is for a presentation outside, sometimes I struggle to like figure out what are the background images. I can write docs for hours. Presentation is not a skill set that I would like to develop, but you need to have good presentation skills. So I am personally really excited about the Gemini integration in uh, in in. Google Slides. So here, the way you access it is, for example, let's say right now, this is the interview prep presentation deck that I created. So it looks a little boring. So let's see if I want to spice it up. I can actually ask Google Gemini, which is right here, to generate an image for me. So what I'm going to do is, and then I get to pick style, what kind of style I want. Do I want it to be art? Do I want it to be like real photography? Or you want it to give it something that it can figure out on its own. So for now, I'm not gonna define a style. I'm just gonna say create. Okay, while I'm recording this, I realized that this feature is actually taken away as you might have seen in the news that Google Gemini is too woke. So Google took away the image generation but I have used this feature when it was available in the slides and it was amazing because it was able to generate some of the images for me. Another presentation that I'm giving next week at my workplace in front of 500 people has at least two slides that are generated with Google Gemini image creation. I can show you some pictures here of how the image creation process works, but it's just really amazing. On the topic of generative AI, I wanted to share this free ebook that has over 100 prompts on how to use ChatGPT, Gemini, or any of the other generative AI tools at work. The ebook is created by HubSpot, who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. The guide walks you through specific use cases and exact prompts that you can copy and paste into ChatGPT, Gemini, or any of the other generative AI tools and get smart answers. For example, as a data analyst, let's say you were assigned a project to improve customer retention. You can copy paste this exact prompt into ChatGPT and Gemini and get answers. These prompts are simple yet effective and turns you into a ChatGPT generative AI power user and 10 times smarter. You can download the ebook for free by clicking the link in the description below. Now, back to the video. The next integration I wanna talk about is Google Meets. So here we're gonna create a new meeting and we're gonna see how we can use Google Gemini. So let's say I'm currently in a meeting and I wanna have my background as my living room, not my living room, somebody else's living room, but it's generated by Google Gemini. Okay, let's see, it created a bunch of options for me. Let's see which one I wanna use. I think I kinda like this yellow couch. So I'm gonna insert it and whoa, now I'm inside somebody else's living room created by Google Gemini. Really cool. There's also a feature to take live meeting notes for and then for it to send it to you, which I don't have access yet, but hopefully I'll have access to it soon. I'm sure there are several other use cases that I'm currently are not able to think, but I would love to know your thoughts. What are some use cases that you can use Google Gemini Advanced for making your life easier, whether it comes to doing your day-to-day -day work or doing your personal work. Another feature that I'm really excited about and I wanna talk about it is Google Docs. Last week, I was writing my script for an upcoming talk that I'm gonna be giving in front of 500 people. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. But I was writing my script because I was preparing for that talk. I wanted to be really good and preparing really helps me get my nerves out. So I was writing my script and there was one sentence that I was really, really stuck at. And that's when I decided to use Gemini inside Google Docs to help me rewrite it. And I didn't exactly copy what it wrote, but honestly, reading how somebody else would write it gave me different perspective and different ideas. And I was able to like polish it even further, even though I did not end up using it. So for example, the intro that you listen to on this video, 
we're gonna actually regenerate it and ask Gemini to do it. So when you go to docs, if you have Gemini access, it will show you something like this. So here I can paste this intro and now I'm gonna say, can you help me rewrite this? So now let's say it's basically giving me additional ideas of how I can say it. The first line is the same, but the later points that I mentioned, Gemini is a powerful tool for various tasks, such as understanding text, images, more. It has basically created a more bullet point list for me, which is another way to write it. I can ask it to change tone. Let's say if I wanna make it more casual so it doesn't sound too formal for you all, <laughs> I can ask it to do that. Of course, I won't use AI generated scripts for this video because then anybody can get up and say it. The reason you watch it because you wanna get here about my perspective, my experience, my POV. So obviously like staying authentic while using these tools is very, very important, whether it comes to me creating content for you or you doing your day-to-day -day work at your day job or outside and using these AI tools to write anything. I have used it also for my daughter's college essays. She's currently through the college application process and there are, oh my God, there's so many essays that she had to write and there were points when we were stuck. And there was one time I used ChatGPT to rewrite her whole essay and we were having a hard time figuring out the structure. And honestly, like the structure that it gave us, even though we didn't end up using the exact script that it wrote, the structure we did end up using and it turned out amazing. There are some other features that I haven't mentioned in this video, for example, the find flight feature. So let's say I'm traveling this coming week to Bay Area. So I want to figure out my packing list. So here, what I can do is I can go to extensions and I can say pack accordingly. And then I can change it to San Jose for work trip. And it's basically able to find all the flights for me that are traveling going from Seattle to San Jose, which is super amazing because now I don't have to go to Google Flights. I can actually customize my search and find it in Google Gemini. So while editing the video, I realized that I just got access to Google Gemini in Google Sheets and I needed to show it to you because that's one of my favorite integrations after Google Drive. So let me show you. So once you go inside Google Sheets, you will have a very difficult time finding where that feature exists, where Google Gemini exists. It took me a minute to figure that out. So what you do is go to insert and here you see something called help me organize. So once you click help me organize, that window will pop up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to generate some revenue data for me so I can use it to play around with visualization and so on. I'm gonna say, all right, so now I'm gonna hit create and it is going to generate some data set for me. Awesome, so it basically created data set for me. What I want to do is I wanted to give, say, give me 100 rows. Let's see if it is able to give me 100 rows. Amazing, now it has given this data for me. One more thing I wanted to try is that it can give me templates. So what I'm going to say is, let's see what it's able to come up with. Awesome, so I think generating data set is a great use case. What I also really, really like is that it is able to like create new templates for me. So here I basically just created a template of what are the things that I need to do to plan an event. Honestly, this looks pretty, pretty neat. So far, I'm able to generate new data set from it and I'm also able to generate new templates. One of the templates that we generated as part of this video is data science meetup in the Bay Area. And I'm sure there's like a lot more things that I can do with it. I would love to know your thoughts and comment. What are your thoughts on Gemini integration in Google Sheets? What are some other use cases that we can try with Gemini integration in Google Sheets? Obviously, it's not perfect. It does sometimes tend to hallucinate. It has also given me wrong answers or it just stops doing what it, I ask it to do. Sometimes it just throws its hands and it's like, I'm not gonna do anything. I did run into some issues when I was trying to play around with it with in uh, slides and Google Docs and in the app itself. So it's not native to a specific app, but it's more general issue with Gemini. Of course, you have heard about the hallucination and the recent news about images being generated from Gemini. They tend to be of a specific race or specific gender. So there is definitely room for improvement. It's not perfect, but I think Google is on the right track with this launch, especially with the integration in the workspace because as somebody who works a lot, <laughs> is going to take full advantage of Google Gemini in the workspace and I'm fully integrated in the Google workspace. It might not work for you if you use other platforms such as Microsoft, but like if you use a competitor tool, it might not be that valuable for you. But let me know in comments your thought. What are your thoughts on Google Gemini? Have you tried it? 
have you considered canceling your ChatGPT subscription? If you have one, would you consider signing up for Gemini Advanced? Again, this video is not sponsored and it's my honest opinion. And I am truly excited about Gemini Advanced because this is something that I have started using at work and outside work. So it's becoming more and more part of my daily life. It is obviously a very powerful tool. Make sure you, when you're using any of these tools, you're using it responsibly. And if you're interested in how to use generative AI tools for coding, you can watch this video next. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.